SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, in today's video, taking a look at what Verizon is doing with some technologies at some really unique situations, uh, a couple of unique, uh, I guess, venues. And uh, this is one of those things, I think, with respect to the technology aspect of it, really pushes the industry forward. So let's see what they're up to. I'll be sure to link this for you guys from barchart.com. That link will be in the description. Please do like and share our videos. Subscribe if you're new here and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks, this is a, I don't know if it's industry first. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but it seems like it. Uh, multi-vendor ORAN DAS system. All right, you guys are probably like, what is all those letters? Okay, so with respect to ORAN technologies, ORAN is a platform. It's a philosophy. I, I, I think it's a platform. That's the best way to describe it, in which mobile network operators, network builders have a lot of flexibility and scalability with how they build networks, right? They can use different vendors to, to create all these different types of solutions. Right, so you could have from Nokia, Samsung, Ericsson, mix and match and plug and play. Everything is, you know, basically an open platform and it's all interoperable and, you know, it's it's really scalable and cost effective and, and carriers are really warm to this idea and I don't blame them, right? It, it offers a lot of advantages to the network builders, whether it's like cost or scalability or whatever, right? So this is an open RAN based platform and approach and it's an ODAS, right? Uh, and and when when we discuss DAS systems, whether it's ODAS or IDAS, outdoor DAS systems, outdoor distributed antenna system, and IDAS would be indoor. And these these DAS systems basically serve as you know cellular network solutions where the macro cells that serve an area might not be enough, right? So if you ever go to like a an NBA arena or an NFL stadium, they might have indoor desks on the premise they might have outdoor desks as well uh, around the areas around the venue could have desk systems uh, i've seen desk systems at hotels these solutions have their place right they're specifically designed to keep network traffic off of macro cells and even sometimes CRAN, you know and and small cells so anyways verizon's got this whole thing developed and they went with samsung as the vendor uh for the distribution unit and i think also com scope for the actual antenna systems so this is exactly what it seems like right it it literally is oran right open platform two different vendors samsung com scope providing gear for this particular uh system this, this DAS system and it's supposed to be very power efficient it's supposed to be really effective it's supposed to be really flexible uh, the cost, uh, you know, by it being on this platform, obviously, is probably very attractive. And, you know, Verizon being out in front of this makes a lot of sense because they've been building to this whole virtualized RAN network with Samsung and the whole concept of ORAN. The carriers love it, right? So this is probably just one example, right? We're talking about two particular locations, University of Texas Moody Center, Austin Convention Center, places that have a lot of traffic, a lot of visitors all the time, year round, and you have this really solid RF solution, right? And Verizon kind of pushing forward in it, you're probably going to start to see companies like, you know, AT&T and T-Mobile looking into these types of solutions. So you'll be seeing them getting involved. And sometimes, from what I understand, these things can be multi-carrier. Right, they can be like carrier neutral. Uh, I think they call it like host neutral, and you can get different types of gear attached and connected to these systems, and you know, to the fiber circuits, and getting customers connected from all carriers, right? So they can get involved. It's a really, really great way to see kind of where the the industry is going. This is really exciting, actually. This is the kind of stuff that I think is awesome. Uh, this is a high capacity solution whenever you're talking about DAS systems. Uh, and, and it looks like it's a cost effective way, which is attractive to carriers. So we may see this start to scale. We may see it get pretty popular. Uh, so be on the lookout for this. If we get any more updates on this, you know, if I ever see one out in the wild, you know, I'll be sure to test it for you guys. But very, very cool. Shopping malls have DAS systems. Hotels have them, right? So there's more places where this type of a solution can go. 
And again, this is kind of that movement forward, right? This is that progress in the direction of the newest technologies and Verizon loves being a part of that. All right. So anyways, tell me what you guys think about this after you give it a read and check out some of those details. Uh, like I said, I think this is a step in the right direction, step forward. We're going to be seeing a lot more of this in the future, I believe. Uh, whether it's enterprise or it's business, you know, in situations like this, I think more of this is coming. But what do you guys think? Like what you hear? Is something to you? Let me know. Drop me a comment. Well, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.